CBT News, celebrating 10 years of delivering the news and content automotive professionals count on. CBT News, 10 years strong. Subscribe today. Welcome to CBT News with Bridget Fitzpatrick. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to CBT News. I'm Jim Fitzpatrick, sitting in for Bridget this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Today at Inside Automotive, I sit down with Auto Nation's Executive Vice President and Chief Customer Experience Officer, Mr. Mark Cannon, and RepairSmith CEO, Joel Milne. But first, here are today's top stories. Starting off our coverage, Elon Musk is facing more scrutiny than ever after suggesting he would leave his Twitter role hours before a downgrade of Tesla stock. Yesterday morning, international investment bank Oppenheimer lowered the automaker's stock outlook to perform from overperform, noting that the negative press surrounding the entrepreneur's Twitter buyout had severely damaged investor confidence in Tesla's future. This announcement arrived the morning after the CEO hosted a poll on Twitter asking users to vote on whether or not he should step down from his leadership role at the social media company. 17.5 million people responded, 57.5% of whom voted for him to leave. While Musk has yet to give further details, investors are understandably eager to leave the controversy behind. Up next, new data from J.D. Power suggests 2023 could be a game-changing year for the electric vehicle industry. Many automakers are betting on a lucrative future for EVs, a gamble which researchers now believe will pay off sooner than expected. Although its full report has yet to be released, J.D. Power has announced that electric vehicle market share will rise to 12% in 2023, a five-point increase from this year. Furthermore, its analysts anticipate that growth could occur even faster than their current predictions once the Inflation Reduction Act's tax incentives arrive in January. While many dealers and automakers are concerned about a possible recession in the coming months, the strong performance of electric vehicles is likely to ensure continued growth in the sector, regardless of what 2023 brings. Faulty Takata airbags have sadly claimed another life. As automakers and regulators urge consumers to check their vehicles, the airbags have been the focus of a 13-year-old recall effort. After it was discovered that they contained inflators, which could explode in an accident. This is the third death since November related to the issue, bringing the worldwide total to 33. However, 67 million units were installed across the U.S. Agencies have had a difficult time tracking and replacing the components. Wrapping up our coverage, first impressions of Kia's new EV6 GT are in after journalists were recently allowed to take the vehicle on a Las Vegas test drive. So far, the car ranks well in terms of performance and features, boasting a 576 horsepower engine and improved charge time. Unfortunately, in comparison to other newcomers on the market, the EV has a drive range of 310 miles, lagging behind other leading brands. The automaker is preparing to make the car available for purchase sometime this month. Don't go anywhere. Coming up next is Auto Nation's Executive Vice President and Chief Customer Experience Officer, Mr. Mark Cannon, and RepairSmith CEO, Joel Milne. We'll be right back. Delivering the news dealers count on for 10 years. Subscribe today and join thousands of other automotive professionals. CBT News, 10 years strong. AutoNation is set to acquire RepairSmith, a full-service mobile repair and maintenance company, making solutions much more convenient and comprehensive for their customers. On today's show, we're learning more about the expansion. We're pleased to be joined by AutoNation's Executive Vice President and Chief Customer Experience Officer, Mark Cannon, and the CEO of RepairSmith, Joel Milne. Check it out. Talk to Thanks. us about, uh, if you would, Mark, talk to us about this acquisition. How did this come about? Well, you know, when Mike Manley joined us, he said, we've got to take this incredible retailer that we are, and we've got to expand it. I want to be the leader in transportation solutions. And if you just look at the work we've done since Mike's joined us, acquisition of a great group in Denver, mm -hmm. then you go ahead and look at the finance company we just acquired, CIG. Yeah. And 
you add RepairSmith on top of it, and you can see we are building out an incredible footprint. Plus, RepairSmith, great run company, great footprint overlap with AutoNation. It was just perfect. And let's remember, you know, when the downturn comes at any given time, the upturn is always in service. And, it, and yeah. um, you know, Jim, I talk to you about customer experience all the time. Yeah. We want to make our customers happy. And think about it now. We can go to them in mass volume. Yeah. So it's just a great opportunity, great partnership. Yeah, there's no question about it. And. Uh, and, and Joel, let me ask you, you know, during COVID, a lot of people would, you know, would, would love this type of service, right? To have their vehicle serviced right uh, at their, either their office or their home. This is really incredible. So did you see an increase during COVID in, in your business? Absolutely. Uh, we were able to go to customers in a COVID safe manner where we fixed their car in the driveway. They got a lot of comfort from that. Our phones were ringing off the hook or our website was buzzing off the hook. Uh, and we were really able to get out and go during COVID. Yeah, and I would imagine those people don't now, they don't want to bring their vehicles back to dealerships in some cases, right? Now they're spoiled. Uh, sure, I, you know, most customers that we meet, the number one reason that they're not using us is because they never heard of us. And yeah. that's all part of this opportunity with AutoNation is to expand our reach and brand awareness. Sure, You know, sure. Jim, I was going to say this. What's so great is, look, a lot of people come back to the franchise stores in the first three, four years. They're, they're always back. But as things move and things change on folks, you, so, you, you can sometimes lose touch with them. Yeah. So think about it. If you've got a customer in L.A. who's moved to, um, let's say, Santa Barbara, yeah. now yeah. they know that AutoNation still can service their vehicle, even though they're not around the corner, and can come right to them. Yeah. So this was just a natural. And... Um, the pandemic, you can see the results they had of the pandemic. So it just tells you the viability of this great company that was joining with us. Be sure to watch this interview in its entirety right here at cbtnews.com. Well, that's a wrap for our show today, but we invite you to join us right back here tomorrow morning for all of the latest news and trends impacting the retail automotive industry. Follow us on TikTok, LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter. I'm Jim Fitzpatrick, sitting in for Bridget. Thank you so much for watching. Go out and make it a great day. CBT News, your number one resource for auto industry news and content. Join the number one most watched newscast in the automotive industry. CBT News, 10 years strong. Subscribe today.